and shaped my eyebrows. This is all for drag. <laughs> this is something I don't know how to do. Hi guys, it's Peyty. Today I am trying drag makeup. I've never done like a full on drag eye with, you know, those huge, tall, tall eyebrows. So I shaved my eyebrows. I'm not gluing down my eyebrows, I shaved them so we can do like a high arch. I'm just not a fan of gluing down the eyebrows and waiting for two hours for the glue to dry and then probably fucking it up at some point. I know this is very hard and normally it takes drag performers a few tries at least, few, maybe a few weeks, few months to learn how the makeup should look on their face. Oh god, I'm already scared. I don't know how to do this, but let's just start because I'm just gonna ramble. Let's do it. I'm going to use this photo as a guide. I'm gonna say guide for now because I don't know how close to that I will get. It's an inspired. I'm not trying to copy in case it doesn't come out close enough. <laughs> I'm still gonna prime because I am putting a lot of makeup, you know? I need to prime. I know plenty of drag queens who prime. I wonder what my husband will say when he comes home and I have no eyebrows or just a half. Practically, Golly, I thought for a minute I was not recording. I was about to just collapse. Pretty much every drag queen that I know of uses TV paint sticks to paint their face. My look is based on Aquaria today and I actually have the shades that she's wearing. I'm hoping that this will help me to do the look properly. I'm putting all my faith in paint sticks. Painted on a face like a drag queen. Every time I put these on, I don't know, it's just something magical about the TV paint sticks. I need to pray to her Paul that this comes out good. I am so nervous. I can do pretty girl makeup, glam makeup, you know, but when it comes to unknown territory, I'm always terrified and I don't know how to do it. So I'm just panicking right now. I use these paint sticks whenever I'm going for like a party. Not this much, by the way, not that much. I always take it on a sponge and just blend. But since this is drag makeup inspired, I guess, I'm trying to give it a full fantasy. Is this bitch blended? No. Oh my god. I'm so clumsy. My pajama bottoms are all in this color now. Darker stick for the contours. Aquarius style is not this crazy straight line, but I feel like I might do it just because, you know, this is drag makeup. Very drag is a jawline also. You know what? Other than the amount of product, I would do my makeup like this. Application, maybe it's different, but the placement is the same. Pretty much the same. Shall I did one higher than the other. Well, ship has sailed. I've seen Aquaria doing her makeup. I'm putting this here, which I always do also. I've seen her also do the contour now. I'm quite scared to do that because I don't really suit nose contour. I don't know what it is about me. I just don't suit the harsh nose contour. <sighs> contour gods. Oh. Well, I pray. Is my nose too crooked for this? <laughs> Look at this bump. <laughs> I'm giving myself a really good nose job. This is as good as I can make it. Now blend, blend, blend until the world ends. I'm just waiting to see this on camera because it's always more intense than in person. And I already believe I look insane right now in person. So looking at this in camera is going to be very interesting this brown i'm going to bring down a little here just so it doesn't just look crazy oh crazy <laughs> yes exactly for nose i'm gonna use this teeny tiny in hopes that it will help me 
thing is, my nose is crooked, crooked, crooked to begin with. So trying to put such a strong contour on it, it's not a good idea. But it is drag, so I guess I'm doing it. Now I'll just take white. Oh, I don't know if I should be doing this in white. It's too late now, isn't it? I'm trying to be so delicate. Is this good? I mean, besides, it's not blended, but is it good? Let me blend this edge. It's crooked, isn't it? What I know Aquaria does is contours or puts the lighter foundation here again to make it better. But for some reason, is this making it worse? I think it's a very fine line between good and horrible in the nose contour that's very strong. 10 hours later, my nose contour is still not good, but I don't wanna do this anymore. I'm a little annoyed with myself. No, I just don't wanna do it anymore. Wait, a little on the forehead. Oh my God. My pajama will be completely in makeup. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so exciting. All of the drag makeup is basically paint by numbers and you're just trying to connect all the dots. I don't know why I'm still holding this sponge. I just keep squeezing at her like good luck or something. And it fell like everything I ever hold, it falls. <sighs> I'm going to powder now. Powder the face, but not close to the eyes because there's lots of eyeshadow here and I don't know how low this is supposed to go. Don't put on the 4K on this video. Oh my God, I powdered here. I knew not to powder there and I still did it. Now I'm taking a fluffy brush, taking the excess powder off. This is not bad. It's not bad for now. Where it can go bad is the eyes. Eyes and the motherfucking lips and lashes and everything. Everything could go back still. Okay, I need to make sure that this is sticky here. Why did I powder here? I don't want to do the eyebrow first because I don't think that's a good idea. I literally don't know how she did that. <laughs> Let me start with like a cute light shade this one so it kind of goes into the beginning of the eyebrow and then it extends i need to readjust my expectations of where things are supposed to be so i think this is the place from the eyebrow it goes kind of extending there and lower honestly i don't know i'm just gonna put eyeshadow on <laughs> Aquarius face structure is different, so it kind of, it gives a different feel, this eyeshadow. Okay, I think it needs to be more here and then extend, like more on the inner corner. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what I'm doing. I think it's very important that you kind of get to know your face with this kind of makeup and try to do it to match your face shape. Well. I'm doing this for the first time, so obviously I don't know what kind of shape I need to make. I will know for next time, I guess. Let me take this and kind of draw it on how I see it. Maybe start blending this. You must be like, what the F is going on? I will do this black now. Just gonna use a black eyeshadow and hope for the best. I will use a carton from eyelashes to make this straight edge. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how she's doing it. This is very hard. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh God, oh God, am I doing this right? Oh God, it's almost to her hairline. Oh, am I lower? Did I do it? Did I do it? Is it like this? Okay, let me just put on some other elements and we'll fine tune later. Oh my god, I don't think this is the same. 
you know what this is not bad symmetrically speaking it's not bad right somebody say yes oh my god i never had eyeshadow like this on this is crazy oh i kind of look mean she has got some lime green here i don't have lime green but i have yellow and green to mix and they make lime green really feel like this green is just blending the other green let's do the other green first let me just take that dark green on the brush i'm gonna start to put it here the green is too much maybe it's too low she must be using a smaller brush Bitch, I think I fucked myself over. I think this is way too low on my face already. Not much I can do after I effed myself, you know? Trust the process. Okay, I can see some green also here in the middle, but not too much. Yeah, but now after looking at this, she first put the cut crease and then blend it i'm losing all my brushes i don't know any, any where anything else is oh my god I'm losing english i'm not crazy i promise i'm not sure of anything anymore to be honest she's got this line here continuing in black i know this i can see this in her eye symmetry is not my strong suit but i think i killed this I blend this black and brown together. I can see the vision. I can see it happening. Okay. I guess the hardest part of all of this will be this white. What I have to do now, basically. My plan is simple. Take a concealer on the back of your hand. Dip brushy brush with this kind of shape. Now, we need to... This is basically a cut crease. You need a lot of concealer and... Patience. After I have this done, I am taking a very small brush and doing detail. I think the low part I drew in is a little too low. Covered it up with some green because I don't think I did it properly. I think it's more more of this kind of bitch Aquarian girl how do you do this because this is so hard this is so stressful i do think she's got some black there just a smidge she's got i'm also going to add more black to my top here because it's not really black you're not watching this in 4k right now let's get ourselves the sugar pill white i think Aquaria probably is using Jeffree Star liquid lip in the inner corner and then sets it with white, not the concealer, but to be honest, that liquid lip is not for beginners and definitely not if you want to erase some things later. So do not use it if you think you might make a mistake. It's good for drag because obviously it stays on and how you put it on, that's it. It doesn't move. But then again, it will commit you to the shape you're made. You know what? I don't think I'm doing that bad. Let's do the eyeliner i'm using face paint because there's a lot of eyeliner needed what the heck i look good why do i look good now i can see this one is so much bigger than the other one it might be too long now on this side but if i start going back and forth I'll just end up with black up until my hairline, so maybe a little bit. For eyebrows, I'm just going to go with a lighter eyebrow pomade on the bottom here. And I'm going to draw in the eyebrow with this one also. Maybe the eyeshadow is higher. I don't know anymore. Considering I'm far away from the mirror and I don't have my contacts in, I think it's not that bad. Let me draw in some more hair. 
here on the top make it so natural this is natural right look as long as you don't turn on the quality in 4k i think it slays i think aquarius eyebrow goes much higher this way but i have my natural eyebrow here so i can't really do that my cheeks have been through it my makeup is so cracked here i cannot fix it because it's powdered to the gods i'm just gonna take that white jeffree star for the waterline this is not an eyeliner by the way it's a liquid lip if you don't want to put liquid lip on your waterline don't do it do as i say not as i do and get an actual eyeliner have a little accident with my eye water in here i don't want it to fuck up everything i just did i'm going to put on some glitter she's got it all up on this part eyeliner is melting and is making everything black lash he's got like a dark pink let's start with lighter pink oh girl maybe this will be enough just gonna deepen my contour this nose is ridiculous i think this will be good might be too dark. Um, this is the best I can do. I'm not really happy with the shape of this lip. Don't turn on 4K. I'm going to put on lashes. Don't even know if I have lashes big enough. I'm gluing this lash with the space in between my eyelid and lash because otherwise it's just not going to sit in the right place. It won't even be visible if I put it on my lash line. Obviously, if you put it low here, it will be visible here, which you don't want. You want it to flow with your black. Oh my goodness. This is hands down the biggest makeup I've ever had on. Let me just fix my fringe. All right, so this is my first go at drug makeup. I have glitter all over myself. The black is running down my face. I can't even feel my lips because I don't know where they are. When I look at myself, they're in a different place than they're supposed to be. I really wanted to try it. Only took three hours. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel if you like this video. I have many makeup tutorials there for you to watch. And I'll see you next time, bitch. I look good.